Hey guys, so here I have another small little haul to share with you. I'm so sorry to keep posting these small little hauls, but my store gets things in daily and, you know, it's just what happens. These are the brand new hand soaps. They're not antibacterial. They're simply regular hand soaps. They retail for $9.50, so it's like, oh, uh, they're expensive, but hopefully um, they'll mark down or go on sale pretty soon. Overall... I think they're nice. I like the concept. I get it. But um, for Mass Appeal, you know, I don't think the kitties would like this. But finally, you know, they give stuff to, you know, 20s and over. Because lately everything's been kind of, I wouldn't say teeny bopper, but somewhat geared toward the kitties. And that's not a problem, but, you know. So, um, basically, I was at the mall. I went into Lady Foot Locker, had to grab some running shoes, and I had a dud three wig to exchange. So, I'm like, let's go into Bath and Body Works and see what they have. They have the new hand soaps, and let me just tell you something really quickly. My store still has a lot of the American Boardwalk collection candles, along with their earlier spring and summer candles. And one candle in particular to stay away from, you guys don't buy white sand. It's so pathetic. Like, you can barely smell it. It just burns aimlessly like it's unscented don't buy that one buy anything but white sand any size don't grab it take it for me it's a waste of time like it smells great off of the cold throw but don't buy it just you'll end up returning it I promise you so that was and they're still half off by the way I wish they were 75% off but they're still half off and that was like 975 so I was able to grab this one for basically for free or an exchange rather, Applewood Orchard. Check it out. And then the three on the end I ended up getting with a survey coupon. So here we have Sweet Plum Wine. Then we have Pear Chardonnay. And Vanilla Maple Cream. So they're nice. Um, I'm not like... Oh my god, you guys, go right out and buy them. If you see them, if you have a little extra, you need something to bump you up for your survey total, grab these. Um, like I said, they're definitely better, a little bit cheaper, but, you know. So let me read the notes and tell you what I think about them. They're, they're pretty good. Okay, so Applewood Orchard is a lusciously cozy concoction of warm red apples, dark plum, white orchids, creamy cinnamon, and vanilla musk. So this is not any apple that we've seen previously. This isn't farm stand apple. This is an autumn apple. It's not even, it's nothing duplicate. This apple is, of course, it's a red apple, but I think it has bark in it. There's like a woodsy note, like a woody, barky note I'm getting. The other stuff I get as I'm washing my hands, it comes out, like the creamy aspects, you know, the vanilla and... The, the cinnamon just a little bit but it's definitely um like apple and like a bark really nice not the best but it's it's pretty cool and then we have sweet plum wine which is not plum wine amber just tell you that right now this one is a luscious blend of fresh pomegranates juicy raspberries crisp red apples and midnight plums so this one to me is um it's not gladish which means it's not, you know, cheap. That's so bad, but it's not cheap like the plum wine amber kind of was to me. This is just like a sweet plum with a little bit of blueberry. I don't get pomegranates. I don't get anything listed, especially raspberry. Don't get it. Don't get any apple. I just get blueberry and wine. It's really nice. It's not really um, wine, alcoholic, nothing like that. It's just plum and blueberry. Really cool. And then we have Pear Chardonnay, which is, <clears throat> what is this? Oh, a luscious blend of crisp pears, sugared apples, sparkling tropical fruits, smooth caramel, and vanilla extract. So when I washed my hands with this one, it was basically green apple and the inside of a pear. Um, pear and apple are definitely like the base notes. This isn't anything like the brandied pear. This is more of an apple. It just could be like green apple and I'd be like satisfied with it. It doesn't, 
oh, tropical fruit, snow, caramel, a little bit, vanilla extract, a little bit, but this is definitely like green apple and pear. It's, it's nice. And then lastly, we have vanilla maple cream. So it's a decadent recipe of warm vanilla, fresh ground cinnamon, and whipped buttercream with a maple syrup kiss, aka butterscotch. <laughs> they forgot everything, or they mentioned everything but butterscotch. This is so butterscotch. It's like butterscotch and like maple um, syrup. They kind of like it, like in the picture. It's it's the maple that's in the pic. Like you drizzle it over like the vanilla ice cream that's basically what it is it's really sweet it's super strong super sweet um it's rather duplicate in my opinion i think i've seen it before smelled it before so i'm not really thrilled by it it's nice but you know for those of you that want like that buttercream butter not buttercream it's no buttercream by the way i don't even smell that but if you want that butterscotch sweet maple type of a scent this is definitely one, the one for you so overall, I like them. I love them even more if they were <laughs> cheaper. But, you know, I did the best I could. And with the survey coupon, it made everything worth the while. So, oh, and everything ended up being like $7 for each of them. So, you know, pretty nice save. And, oh, I want to mention there are two other test scents coming. Sugar and Spice. And then there's the Lavender from, like, late spring early summer of this year just the plain crisp lavender scent that i was raving about and a new one sugar and spice there are going to be more so stay tuned for that and there's something else on my mind i have to mention it's on my mind so you guys can know because this candle always manages to disappear whenever there's a sale cranberry pear bellini there's something about cranberry pear bellini that just draws people and it's the pretty pink color um and the scent speaks for itself it's very celebratory it's nice and just a nice juicy um i don't know it's just very celebratory to me it's a great scent i'm telling you right now the best bet because the semi-annual sales are so unpredictable you don't know what they're going to do as far as pricing you know some of you don't want to pay the eight bucks and some of you are waiting like me waiting for you know better deals telling you grab it while you can specifically that one because it's so popular and it disappears every single time I'm telling you that's the candle you'll never find unless it's like in season if it's going on sale or getting clearance out you're not gonna find it take my word it literally disappears if you look in one of my like my first very first hauls I had like 10 of them so I was serious about that scent. That one never stays on the shelves. You have to grab it. If you like that scent, you love it, make sure when it comes to your store, two for 20, at least grab three because chances are it's not going to be there. That's one popular scent. And that's pretty much my little food for thought for you. Um, again, Candle Hall will be coming this coming week. Excited. And... Anything else? Am I forgetting? No? I don't think there's anything else. Oh, there's some little, you know, Halloween knickknacks in the store. They have like this, um, like this apple. It's like this huge apple hand soap. It's like $16.50, I think. It's expensive and it's pretty cool. It's standard green apple. Um, I'm just not happy with the Halloween theme this year. It's very... I, don't, I wouldn't say rushed, but it just seems kind of like, okay, it's Halloween, let's just, you know, put it out. It definitely doesn't beat last year's by any chance. I'm thinking, you know, it's still early in the game, they can still bring things out, but I think this is as good as it's going to get, you know. Um, they had candles that were decorated that, you know, went to 75% off, so I grabbed like a million of those, and they don't have that this year, so I think the winter will definitely make up for the fall. And that's it. So you all take care. God bless. Comment, rate, subscribe, of course. And if, if you need anything, let me know. Um, any questions, I'll definitely answer them. And until next time, I will talk to you all soon. Thanks. Love you much. Bye.